The Boomerang Compact CB Antenna, testing with a common mode choke by Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Now, the subject of this video is the Boomerang Antenna that I bought. When I put it up before, I had common mode problems. It has since had a choke put onto it, which is a certain amount of turns over a certain diameter former. In this case, it's five five turns on. I believe that's a 100 mil mil uh, piece of tube, which I got from from B and Q in Darlington before the lockdown took effect. So it's up in the air. It's all tuned. I did um, uh, check the SWR. It seems to be quite low. At the bottom of the band, but a little higher at the top of the band. This is the 2781 UK Citizens Band it's tuned for. I can't tune it for both, as it seems to only be resonant on either one set of 40 or the other. So if I want to use CEPT and, of course, SSB, which I'm legally entitled to do on the Citizens Band, then I could. I will have to obviously adjust the antenna and put it back up. So, but... For my purposes, 2781 is adequate enough because uh, CEPT does suffer from a bit of foreign interference and there is actually a bit of a lift on and I have been listening on that band because I can still receive there. So it's connected straight to the President Grant 2 via, a, via the Comet CTC 50 window jumper and when I turn the radio on, the radio's got its own inbuilt SWR meter which is tallying with the KPO one, so it's all, it's all good. So perfectly adequate to use and channel 20 I can actually use for my little tests because it seems to be perfectly resonant there and it's great that the choke has actually cured the common mode so so it's now on the air I've done the 19 for a rig check but I've got nothing back so I'll um, uh, switch to the other camera um, and I will and I'll show you what's going on with the with the Grant 2 so I'll see you with the Grant 2 well, the focus is wavering up and down a bit here, but that's the Grant 2. There's the SWR meter that is on top, but as you can see, it's actually unplugged. Because this has also got its own onboard SWR meter, so I'll show you what the SWR is actually doing. So if I go to channel 20, I'm getting about S3 of noise here, which is, which is a bit annoying. If I go to channel 20, you'll see the SWR is not even 1.1, well, 1.5 to 1. On that meter, go to 40. However, this will give me a better reading. It, it is reading less on that end of the that end of the band. It's reading about 1.5, though I was getting about two on that one. And yeah, it's reading about the same there. So I think it's actually all right where it was. So but otherwise, it's good. I'm getting about S freedom of noise. So if I just do this correctly, so I need to not the auto squelch off. It's President's ASC, which is actually a very good auto squelch. If I do the usual one nine for the rig check. Yeah, there's nothing. Can't even hear the burner brigade. So I don't think they're on at the minute. So, we know it's working. I'm just going to go to channel 20. One of the effects of common mode is SWR changing. I've even put my hand on that and it isn't really doing a lot. But the common modes have been pretty much eliminated. Let's take that off, because otherwise I'll just end up jamming channel 20 and that's not good. So, yeah, we're getting about S... S5 noise there. Obviously can't transmit on SSB, but I think there's a lift on.
Yeah, just sort of say so here's something going on. Yeah, I can't obviously transmit there because the SWR is too high. There was a conversation going on on there, but they seem to have gone. Ooh, that's bad. Bearing in mind I am actually hearing a block of flats. So, the antenna's up and working. So, that I'm actually quite pleased with that, but I'm not able to get any contacts on it because there's no one on it or... Well, there's no one on really, so I'm going to have to... Um, uh, do a little test of my own so so it's working the chokes doing its job it's not um, uh, bringing RF into the shack which is what I want and it's the antennas receiving although I'm getting about S3 of give me S3 of noise which is a, a little bit on the annoying side but there's nothing I can really do about that right now so so, uh, I'm all set to go on the air. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the coax over to the other radio and I'm going to try and set up the Zello gateway. So, that's another video. So, this is Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform, or if you catch me on there, 26 Charlie Tango 730, or if you want to, you can just call me the Red Squirrel on there. So, 73s for now, guys, and stay safe, watch for the virus. Yeah, you know the drill. So, my common mode issues are fixed. Excellent. That's that's a, that's a step in the right direction. Seven threes for now. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. Seven threes from Paul, Mike, Zero, Whiskey, November, Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango, 730 on 11 metres and PMR 446.